Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm starting a new series that will be different from my usual tutorials. Rather than go in depth into teaching various techniques, these videos will be focused on sharing my Canva hidden font library with you. I have spent a lot of time researching these alphabets. Some fonts are easy to find, but others are a bit tricky and you have to dig down two or three layers to discover what you're looking for. I think this is mostly because there's not a consistent system for naming alphabets in Canva. Also, many of the designers from around the globe aren't fluent in English. This combination can make it difficult to find specific elements that you want to use. So in this series, I will cut through all of that confusion and show you how to find around 300 hidden fonts. Obviously, I can't do this all at once, so I've planned 11 videos for the series. If you want to be sure you catch each one, please subscribe and hit the bell. That way you will be notified each time I release a new video. Most of these types of specialty fonts are only available to Canva Pro users, but there are several free fonts included as well, so watch each video all the way through to find them. With that having been said, let's get started. Here we are in Canva, and this is the first one of the fonts in our grouping that's going to be all about animals and bugs. This first font is free, but it's a little complicated to find. I had to really search for it, and let me show you how. As you can see, the title is Watercolor Letter Educational Learning, which doesn't seem like it has anything to do with what this font is all about. But I went ahead and typed those exact letters over here in the search bar and searched for that and you can see the very first element that came up is part of this series. This is what I mean when I say that I had to dig to find some of these fonts and why they're hidden. If you click here on the little three dots of the very first one that comes up that matches this series, you're going to see that it says watercolor rabbit letter R and rabbit is even misspelled. So to find this particular element, you would have to put that exact title in your search bar. And I don't think anybody would think of that just off the top of their head. So what I did to make this easier for you is I went ahead and looked at the keywords. And here you can see it says show all keywords. And I took all these keywords and mixed and matched them several different times until I found the combination that would bring up something from this font as the first element in your search. So I did bring up the rabbit and then all you have to do is scroll down on this little description and click see more like this and they will all come up. So this is a great example of why sometimes the titles that I've put on this will seem all strange in terms of descriptions, but it's because I've mixed and matched all these keywords to find out which combination works best to pull up these alphabets that are buried so deep in Canva. Our next alphabet focuses on bees. Isn't this cute? And it's called the Bee Cute Font Summer Alphabet. But this one is so much easier because like many of these pro alphabets and a few of the free, it has a set number for the collection of the alphabet. Again, you don't know how to find this unless you just search for it yourself, but I'm giving you these set numbers. So all you have to do is take a screenshot of this and then save it for your own use. And when you get it, you can type in this set number up here in the search bar like I did and it will come up looking like this and then you just click see all and all of these cute little bees will come up. On the next screen I've pulled up one of these little bees to illustrate something else. On many of these fonts and alphabets you can change the colors. So for instance if I wanted to change the colors of this wing from blue to purple I can go up here to the blue and click on it and then find a purple and click on that and the wings will change to purple. So some of these fonts actually have the versatility where you can change colors and others don't. But as I go through each font, if you see these squares up here at the top that have colors in them, you'll know it's one of the fonts that can change colors. Next, we have another cute little bee font. This one's called Honey Bee Alphabet Letter. And you can see that I've typed it in over here in the search bar 
and hit search and all of these come up and all I have to do is click see all and you will find all of them right there. Next we have another cute little B font. This one is called the B alphabet letters and it does have set number with it. So all you need to do is copy that set number search for it and you'll find all of these really sweet bees with their honey and the waffle cone letters. Now we're switching from bees to giraffes. Isn't this cute? This is another pro set with the set number that you can put into your search bar. Now we're moving on from cute giraffes to cute cats. And there are actually two cat alphabets I want to show you. This is the first one. You can see that it's quite angular so that means that the letters are very straight edged and again you have the set code to type into your search bar. This is our second cat font and you can see that it's quite different from the first. It's quite curvy and the cat bodies kind of show in the letters. So there's something for everybody and if that's what you would like more than the angular one you can use this one and again it's another pro set with its own code. Now we're moving on to three different sets of generalized animal alphabets. It's interesting to see how each artist and designer have portrayed the animals in the alphabet letters just a little bit differently so they have their own unique spin on it. This one is again a pro set with its code. And here's the second of the animal generalized alphabets. This one is so cute also and what you'll notice is that you can actually change the colors on this one. So it has some variety that the first one didn't. It also is a pro set with a coat. And our final generalized animal alphabet is this cute alphabet. And again, you can change the colors on this. I don't know if you'd want something other than a green alligator, but you know, if you wanted a purple alligator, you could make one. This is a cute number set that's based on animals. It's just got the numbers from 0 to 9 and you can change the colors. Again, it is another pro set. Finally, wrapping up this section of our video is this Easter Bunny font alphabet. And again, you can change the colors. So if you wanted a yellow Easter Bunny or a white Easter Bunny, you could do that. And this is also a pro set with its code to enter into your search bar. Now we move on from animals to insects and this font just was so cute to me. It's a worm font. It's a worm illustration alphabet letters. It's a pro font. It has its code for you to enter and you can change the colors so you can have any color worms that you would like. And I just think it's really cute and the kids would love this. Now we have the first of three different ladybug alphabets. I really love this one with its combination of ladybugs, green letters, and the daisy. But this is one that's a little bit more difficult to find. You'll see that I put into the search bar ladybug alphabet letter A. A lot of times it's really better on these types of alphabets to search for a specific letter. And when I did, you can see it brings up all kinds of letters, not even ones that have anything to do with ladybugs. But if I click on the three little dots next to the one I want and I scroll down I can click on see more like this and then it's still going to bring up a variety look there's even a black version of this particular font and then there's this red and black version in the middle that isn't even the same but you have to scroll down and if you don't see all of the letters that you want you can click on one again and to see more like this again and it will bring up even more options for you. This is one of those fonts that you kind of have to hunt and pack to find the exact letters that you want but it's so cute that I think it's worth it. Just keep digging and you'll find them. This second ladybug font is much easier to find because we have the code we can just put straight into our search bar and it also has the advantage of being able to change colors Again, ladybugs are red and black, so who knows why you'd want to change colors, but you could actually change this to be whatever color you would like for your own setting. Our final example of a ladybug font is just plain letters done in a ladybug style, and it's really easy to find by just plugging in the set number. To wrap up our hidden animal alphabets video, we have six fonts that are based on animal prints. 
This first one is a leopard one. It's easy to find with its set number, and I love the title of it, Leopard Hay Doodle. The next animal print font is also a leopard one, but it's a cheetah one, and it's really classy looking with this combination of very geometric letters with the cheetah print and the black print. But again, you can change the colors on this one, so you can make it in a completely different color palette if you wanted to. And here's our third leopard print alphabet that's a little bit more just your basic block letters and a white background, but you can change the spots to be any color that you want. Now we're moving on to zebra print, and guess what? This one is actually free and it has a set code. So if you need a zebra print and you are a free user, you're in luck with this one. Unfortunately, you can't change the color, but zebras are black and white anyway, so this is a great one to have in your stash. Finally, we're wrapping up this animal category with two different giraffe animals that are grown up, not like the one we saw earlier that was for children. This is the first one. It's a pro set and has its own code. And here's number 22, another giraffe print. This one is also pro with its code, but you can change the colors on this one. And that's it, 22 different hidden animal fonts in Canva. I hope you've liked these. I hope you can use them. Remember that there are 11 videos in this playlist. So be sure to subscribe and click the bell if you want to be notified when each one is released. And you can find all of them in the playlist section on my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.